Hello, this is Yasai Ninja, and we're back again, this time in Leak Town, which I think looks really pretty. Uh, looks a lot prettier than the first 3D beat em up stage, at least. We're still going to be sticking with Brocco Broccoli Joe and his strategy of hit and running using his triangle attack, which is this heavy force shove. We're also going to be introduced to a new enemy type in this level, the Archer. Uh, the Archer has uh, one very strange ability. He can attack from a distance, but more importantly, the Archer has the capability to shove one of our heroes out of the way whenever we attempt a close-range attack. And, well, all of our attacks are close-range. He can just shove us to knock us right over. So we need to anticipate the Archer's movements and attack from a middle distance using the Force Shove. Otherwise, that'll happen. They're also very keen on running away, as you might imagine, because they are archers, and they have the least health in the game. So unlike the other enemies, which will gladly march toward us, the archers try to stay away actively. And since they're the only enemies that can cause knockback, they can be a real pain if you attack too close. But I think it's a reasonable game design to give the archers the ability to shove the characters down and run away, as well as their general tendency toward running away because it gives even more utility to Broccoli Joe's Force Shove. It does make, uh... It does make Kaoru seem even less useful, but his time to shine will come uh, in the next video, probably, if I remember correctly. I understand the combat may not look very satisfying, but I like the Force Shove because of the sound effects and the way the, uh, the cucumbers break into little pieces. Like that. And after we use Kaoru to clear the last enemy out of this maze, you might have noticed or might not have noticed that there was a block for us to push back here. We can't interact with the block until all the enemies are cleared out of an area. It's really hard to move the block through this maze, because as I described earlier, it's like tank controls but with more weight. There's no really difficult obstacles to move the block around though. So it's mostly just a matter of time. After we push the block into this new area, we will be assaulted. So you might figure that means we'll have to drop the block, but we actually don't, unless we're hit with an attack. So if we're very careful with our maneuvering, we can move the block around all the enemies and put it where it belongs. This is the only way it's, it's possible to skip enemy encounters in the game, is by pushing the blocks past all of the enemies and into the shrine where they go. There's only a couple of times in the game you can do this, and I'm sure it's a genuine oversight. Let's talk about this game outside of the game itself for a moment. Uh, because this game came out on the PS4, it is also on Steam by the way, I didn't know that. But because this game came out on the PS4, it did get a small amount of critical attention. Just enough for it to get a Metacritic score, I think exactly enough. And as you might imagine, the Metacritic score isn't very positive. But I think some of the complaints are just flat out incorrect. It's okay not to like this game, and to think it's not worth people's money. You know, I could understand arguments about that, but... You don't need to justify it by lying about the game, either. Uh, one review from We Got This Covered says the game has broken programming. And I frankly didn't notice any of that. Uh, there's very little in the way of glitches, and there are barely any exploits either. I love this area with archers up here, because they're all bunched together and they're real easy to destroy all at once. As I was saying, uh, the review from We Got This Covered accuses the game of having broken programming, but after playing through this game twice, I haven't encountered any glitches of any sort. I think maybe sometimes the audio clips briefly but I'm not sure if the audio is actually clipping or if that's just another sound effect. The reviewer claimed his copy crashed multiple times, and he even admits in the review that it's, it's ignorant of him to assume that every copy will play the same. And I agree, because this hasn't crashed once on me, and none of the other professional critical reviews mentioned the game crashing. Of course, it's entirely possible that this was patched out, but that's a problem with, with this, uh, this generation of gaming, and games that constantly update. Games will often respond to criticism, and change for the better. Which makes the old review entirely obsolete. 
So someone who's looking to buy the game, game, excuse me. So someone who's looking to buy the game may look at critical reviews and see that the game is a broken mess when it's not actually a broken mess anymore and it instead works. So I don't know, maybe the game did crash all of the time at one point, but it doesn't do that anymore. It's almost entirely glitch free. There are also complaints about the camera, but I haven't found any camera issues in the game either. So either these issues didn't exist or they were patched out. But either way, the reviews are no longer valid. Which makes me, uh... Which makes me miss the gaming website Joystick because they realized this was a problem and tried to fix it. So this Leak Warrior is the first real boss, and he also has a very clear design principle behind him. The idea is that one player distracts him from the front, while another player hits him from behind. He has a really devastating blow that deals a lot of damage, but only in front of him. And he does block a lot, but not while he's attacking. So this means you have one character who distracts him from the front, while the other character is free to hit him from behind. And of course we're going to use Broccoli Joe's Triangle Attack to do this. It's actually really nice design for a game this simple, even if it works much better in co-op. We're in slow-mo because we beat the boss, but the game hasn't loaded the cutscene yet. Sometimes the slow-mo can last a really, really long time. As you're seeing. <laughs> 